This week, I'm going to encourage you to be an encourager. You know, I've been looking back on my own life, and when I've really wanted to do some big things, and I've told people, they would often say, oh, no, there's no way. Uh, you, you can't do that. Uh, don't even try. It's as if some people become a professional discourager in our lives. They will always be a naysayer. They'll always bring up negativity. They'll always put your idea or, or you down. It is a rare thing to have someone that encourages you on, that believes in you without doubt. And when you have that type person in your life presently, and I hope you do, or in the past, it becomes like a, like a jewel in a setting that is something to, to reflect upon in a very, very good and wonderful way. And every time you do, you smile inside of your soul. I want you to be that type of person for another person this week. Encourage other people. If negativity starts to come out of your mouth, just shut your mouth and don't let it come. If you don't have anything positive to say, don't say anything at all. Become a beacon of light for someone. And when you do, remember that that positivity has to come through you first to reach them. And you'll be truly a child of God when you do. Giving encouragement to others is a most welcome gift for the results are lifted spirits, increased self-worth, and a hopeful future for that person that is hearing your words. In 2 Corinthians 13, verse 11, the Bible tells us to encourage one another. Now, it doesn't say when someone tells you something to become a naysayer to it, to, to put down the idea. It doesn't say this at all. I go on. The Bible says, live in harmony and peace, and then the God of love and peace will be with you. Of course, as you start to speak God's words to another human being and uplift them, God will be with you working through you. One of the reasons that God has placed us here on earth is so that we might become a beacon of hope and encouragement to someone else. As a child of God, you are encouraged to have every reason to be hopeful. If you are praying in the right way when you go to God, you will find encouragement beyond belief filling you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Do so for others. Share that hope with others. Share that light instead of being a cloud of darkness. After all, optimism, hope, and cheerfulness is something that like other human reactions, they are contagious. You'll find that you can't give it away. It will come back multiplied to you. So today and every day this week, look for the good in others. Look for the good in situations. Look for the good. Promote the good. And celebrate the good that you find. You'll be quick to offer a smile. You'll be quick to offer a hug. You'll be quick to offer a kind word. Or all three. When you do, you're going to quickly discover that one of the surest ways to cheer yourself up is to cheer up someone else. By trying your best to cheer someone else up, will cheer you up at the center of your being. 
and keep you cheered up all day long. You'll feel good when you close your eyes at night. You'll know that today I made a difference in at least one person's life. And that gives you a true reason and purpose for living. God bless you.